can't see me. Let's go. What up, everybody? You can't see me here today. Back again, jumping back into Imperion Galactic Survival. Shout out to everybody. Thank you for stopping through. You know, we're going to continue doing what we do. So, in the last episode, we captured this base, this patrol vessel headquarters. This is where the patrol vessel lands when you go to the other planets. And some people pointed out to me that there is a secret area in here that has like some more cargo holes that I guess doesn't come up when you press P when you put your core in. Told me to look out for something that doesn't look right with uh, six panels. So thank you uh, for all my people who's coming and telling me to check this out. So I'm hoping this is it because I don't know exactly where to look. Okay, that's not it exactly. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So I just wanted to show this for you guys who come here and may be looking for this after you capture this PV base if you raid it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, let me see. Can I get this with my drone? I don't think drones can go into... Yeah, they can't access. Okay. Nice little secret compartment they built. Ooh, alien container. Very rare, y'all. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Xenu steel blocks. Combat steel blocks. These would be great for building my uh, CV. Fusion cell. Okay. Ooh, neodymium. T2 shotgun. Fuel packs. Ooh, the pulse rifle. Let's see, projectile rifle round. Ooh. That's the regular, uh, yeah. I'm gonna start using this because I love the way the pulse rifle shoots out of my ship. And if it uses the same ammo as my assault rifle, let's see the damage. The damage is a little less. Rate of fire is higher. Range. And the range is further so yeah and if it explodes the same way <laughs> yo yo yeah let's see okay that's not quite the same <laughs> but we're gonna still check it out i'm gonna see how it handles itself all right so let's check this other uh cargo hold Oh, okay. Shotgun upgrade kit. Health pack. More fuel. Trauma kit. All right, cool. Oh, man. A med station. Wow. A pulse laser. Okay. And then more fusion cells. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So cool. So thank you once again to my peoples for uh, really helping me out and letting me know this great information on things like secret compartments of bases okay so the other thing i did we'll do this before i uh leave here so i'm assuming that drone attacks are gonna come eventually i'm assuming there's a drone base on here maybe there isn't but we want to defend our base so i'm gonna put a couple cannons up i already have ammo uh, in an ammo box We'll check that out real quick. I just want to do this before we get started. And um, so we can really figure out what we're going to do. So cool. That was some great loot. Great loot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you really quickly. I didn't do a lot since the last video. So I added an oxygen station. Food processor. Uh, I put the constructor in. I added an armor locker. So I could put this EVA boost so um, this code wouldn't be as crazy. Now one thing I do want to do is I want to put this core in the ceiling. Because I'm tired of like walking around this thing. It's in the way. And I want to open this floor space up. So I'm going to get rid of this. Um, but I won't do it right now. But I already even made a core for it. So, so cool, 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 cool. So what I do want to do. I want to work on a CV, and we could actually do it here, but I don't have as many resources here as I do back on the home planet. 
so I need to go back to the home planet. The main reason for coming here was verifying if we had Zascosium, and there is no Zascosium here. It does have Neodymium and Sathium though. And compared to the lava planet, I do have a boost that'll keep me from dying or facing those extreme temperatures. So, also, uh, one more thing I want to show you guys is if you do take over one of these PVs and it's built the same way, get rid of these antennas. These antennas are decoration, but they take power and they take a lot of power. So my power consumption for this thing was like 800 kilowatts or something like that. So I'm getting rid of these. It's already down to 500 and I've only removed two of them. Well, they got down to about 500 after, re after removing like, I think they're about 20 a piece. So I'm trying to think how many I actually removed. I guess it depends on the antenna. I think these bigger ones are a little more than the those slimmer ones. But yes, they take a ton of energy. More energy than you can waste unless you just got it like that. Okay guys, so I've been deciding what I want to do. And what I want to do is build a CV. But I realize that resources are very low. I need the CV so I can get to... Um, to rise i want to go ahead and transport my hv i'm just going to take my hv instead of doing it manually or doing it in the sv even though i still may make an sv that i can uh, walk in but i didn't want to have to take forever gathering resources because i was out digging up resources and i'm like all right this is the long way till i can bring my hv so what i decided to do was tear down some pois to get the parts for my uh cv because this would be like just the starter cv so see, I got all these hard and steel blocks that won't have to worry about crafting them. So, um, I came back to the armory. If you remember, we raided the armory. This is on the home planet. And then I'm going to shoot up here to these Titan blocks, and I'm going to take those too. That should give me enough to start a basic CV. And then the only resource I don't have is Zascosium. That's what I need to get. So, I should have enough of the other resources to make all the components for the CV. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, and what I do when I tear down a uh, enemy POI, I'm going to leave a C. This can either be a U or a C. But I guess it would need to be a little longer to be the U. I left an extra block on there. Hey, I'm learning right now as I go how I want to formulate my signature of destruction. So, this is a U and a C. You can't see me, baby. So, I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to show you all that. And I'm about to head to the Crash Titan. Oh, be careful of how high you park your <laughs> SV. Because if it's too high, I have done that about three, four times where I was too high in the air and couldn't jump back to my uh, ship. I didn't realize how high it was when I got out. So, yeah, it's a little tip. All right, but I'm going to hit this... Uh, these titans and i'm gonna continue on i'm gonna break those down i may pop back when i get done tearing them down okay guys so i'm approaching the rear titan the rear crash titan and i haven't actually looked at this since they implemented some of the updates of things like the thrusters um so it's different to see this with that new thruster look I gotta remember where the core is. I think it's up here in the top. Yeah. It's either up in the top or it's near when you come in here in the back. One or the other. But I guess this video will be me just collecting the blocks I need so I can build the CV. So maybe the CV build will be in the next one. I wanted to put it in this one, but I'm gonna have to do it in the next one. Shoot out these doors. And let's shoot up here real quick. Just to see if I can see it. I'm gonna check this top area first, and then I'm gonna go into the bottom. I just want to verify if it's not up here. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. 
It's right up here. So if you do need that, just know it's right up top. Boom. I got a core right on me. I'm going to put the core at the bottom, though. Because if you put your core at the top, then as you start to tear down, you'll tear down under your core. And you don't want that. Nice insulation boost I could have used. That's why the hell you come to the Titan as a part of the Robinson Protocol so you can get some of those boosts. It's all right, cool. So I'm gonna go down here and come in the back. And I'll put my core down here somewhere. I always forget I don't have to do that. Put it right here in the corner. Okay, so let's see what all is in here. Go to our devices list. Okay, so there are thrusters. Get those CB thrusters. That's really it at this one, just the thrusters and the RCSs. Sometimes it's good to mark them if you want to know where they're at. So yeah, you can go ahead and mark these. Okay, I cleaned out all the cargo boxes. There's nothing really rare or exotic. I'm gonna snipe the wrap around. Alright, so we're starting to tear down. We're going over here and get these thrusters. See if I can get to it without too much trouble. Use that like seven meters is always that far. Bones right here. Boom. Right here. Let me get that. So I'm going to get all these thrusters, and then I'm going to continue with the teardown. The loot fest. the look of the thrusters, although I know it messed up some people's designs. So yeah, I'm gonna continue tearing down uh, this Titan. Just want to keep y'all up on what I'm doing and how I'm getting these parts. Because I'm just doing everything manually, so it takes some time. It's one of those things you just can't get around. It's taking time. But this should give me plenty enough blocks to build a or we'll build just a basic CV. It's a basic one. So we can get around space. But it's going to be uh, big enough that I can tow my HV around. You know, transport it. Oh, and guys, FYI, there are hidden containers, hidden cargo boxes on the Titan. The Titan in general doesn't have the, the greatest loot. But there are some hidden containers in this tower. I found another one back here from this side as well. Uh, yeah, in here. It almost threw me off. Look at this. Night vision goggles, solar panels, magnesium, projectile pistol, 100 copper ingots, fuel packs. A lot of y'all may find this though when you do the Robinson Protocol. I skip it for uh, my series, and since this was in uh, experimental, but I'll probably do it on my next playthrough. And let me know in the comments. Um, I know some people have let me know and express, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll do the Robinson Protocol once we go stable and I do the new one. That's that's my plan. Just give me your opinion on that as well. Oh, I found another hidden container or secret container up top. Look at this. Cobalt ingots? Silicone ingots? A tier 2 assault rifle? Dang! Explosive device and more fuel packs. Yeah, so definitely, definitely do your Robinson protocol when you start out, or at least hit the Titans and uh, look for these hidden containers. Wow. I always used to do the. I always used to do the front. Titan because it had the grow plot. That's a great place to get you about 30 grow plots starting out. Really all of the Titans have something valuable that's useful. But you get the grow plots, you get the thrusters from this one. I forgot what's in the middle one. Alright guys, so what I do to not bore you with the tear down, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera. But just know that I'm collecting all of the parts um, so that I can start the CV build. So I just do that in the next video. But yeah, hit me with those tips, hit me with anything, let me know if I missed anything um, or anything that'll help other players, alright? You can't see me, Imperion Galactic Survival, finding us blocks and resources for the CD build. Thank you for stopping through, you know what you must do. Make your next move your best move, alright? Peace. You can't see me. Let's go. It's game time and I bang mine. Yo, 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 yo.